At Myriad, we've been able to take you know, our, our innovation and the rate that we want to develop and deliver features out to end users. And because we don't have to think about any of the overhead of planning for infrastructure, we don't have to think of buying servers in advance or the deployment problems, we can kind of have a feature ready in development, be happy with it, have tested it, and it can go into production tomorrow without thinking about the infrastructure ahead of time. It can, we can literally respond to customer demands as and when we need to. I'm Bruce Jackson. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Myriad Group. Myriad Group is a software company that has got most of its engineering done in three locations, in the UK, in Paris in France, and in Chengdu in China. It's about 200 employees just under in total. Myriad Group develops a range of software for a number of different markets, embedded TV, into mobile phone operators. And then we have a direct consumer service called uh, Versi, which is a social service that's about discovering content that you love and then sharing it and talking about it with your friends. For us, the key thing about AWS was the fact that there were services. It wasn't just about hosting and rack space. It was all about the service environment that allowed us to use things that already had been built at web scale and took a collection of problems away from us as engineers and allowed us to focus on the business problem and not about the infrastructure. When I joined Myriad two years ago, the software that was being used was really kind of circa mid 2000s in terms of technology stack and we wanted to bring all that together from being 16 completely separate stacks and turn it into one web scale platform and we needed to do it fast we needed to do it with at that point 38 million users on board and we needed to do it with a really small team because we also were going through an exercise of trying to find ways of reducing costs throughout the business. The cost savings have been enormous. It's changed us obviously from a, a CapEx heavy business to being an operationally, uh, you know, an OpEx business, which has been enormous. But then the savings are saying things like staff costs has been it's just been dramatic. Using AWS, we, we you know we moved originally from an old an old system that was using kind of traditional database technology to using DynamoDB, which has allowed us to grow in a way perhaps we wouldn't have ever been able to before. Our business has been based in primarily in Latin America, but we've got ideas about moving outside of that there. And the great thing about working with, with AWS is that wherever, whichever region you end up going to, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a data center somewhere close to you that makes you know that whole experience easier, better, and more reliable. I think one of the things that we found nicest about working with AWS is actually a lot of the support services. So there's the direct support stuff, so when the problem happens, how quickly it gets resolved. But then there's the other thing. AWS has even gone to the extent of actually patching us a special a kind of uh, specially configured component that's now part of the, uh, the delivery of the Java SDK available to anyone. But to suit our environment, we had a specific need, the guys worked on it, and now we have something that works for us in all cases. It's fantastic. And you know, we're not by any means AWS's biggest customer. You know, we're, we're a small beer in that comparison. But the fact that we can get something like that turned around just shows you the, the kind of level of engagement and you know, interactivity between AWS and companies such as ours.